Breathe a sigh of relief, Yankee fans. They won this game. It was not easy. The Yankees made this way too difficult because you should not barely squeak out a win against a team that is 40, as of now, 43 games under 500. But the Yankees did that. They win this one, though, here, and that's all that matters in the win column. That's all that matters is the win, and it came off the long ball, which is going to be frustrating for Yankee fans because they got five hits today, and three of them were home runs, but those are runs. I just wish that they got more runs. In terms of long term, I just wish they got more runs off hits that aren't home runs, but this is the Yankees, so, you know, it is what it is. This is the business they have chosen. Home run by Frenchie Cordero in the bottom of the second. That was great to see there from uh, Frenchie. First one, I feel like it's been, been for him in a while. It's the sixth home run of the year. Uh, got the crowd going there. The Royals immediately come back in the fourth with a three-run home run by Massey. Uh, and I, I thought the game was over there because I've given up complete hope in the season. But they fought back. The bottom of the fourth, the most important inning for the Yankees. You have the walk for LeMahieu. You have a big single for Anthony Volpe who, while we've been giving him a bunch of crap, that was a big, some biggest hit of the night, maybe, well, until this one, when Billy McKinney, of all people, hits a three-run home run into right field, his fifth shot of the year, and that gave the Yankees a 4-3 to three lead. And then we saw Glaber, who's been our best offensive player since Judge left. He hit a solo home run in the right center. That extended the lead to 5-3. So, yeah, it wasn't a lot of hits today, but the hits that we got were monumentally important and the only other guys to get hits today were, well, yeah, I mentioned Volpe, but we also saw a hit out of uh, DJ. So, yeah, nothing from Peraza, who's now batting 178. Uh, nothing from Rizzo. He continues to struggle. Nothing from Stanton. I'm just And, and uh, nothing from Magashioka. But th- th- we saw some encouraging signs tonight. Uh, the fact that we beat anybody is an encouraging sign. Uh, Clark Schmidt looks fine. I would have, I was so annoyed when Boone took him out after 64 pitches. I knew that it was a, it was a tough spot that um, you know Clark had gotten them in there, in the top of the sixth, you know with two runners on, but come on, let him pitch the. I just was like, oh god, I, I've seen this movie before. Boone takes out somebody way too quickly. I've seen this movie before. I thought it was gonna certainly end in a Yankees loss, but no. Peralta came in there. King came in there. The only one they gave up any run tonight was Tommy Canley, um, who has been struggling. Uh, the, the magic carpet ride's been over for him. To uh, gave up another home run to Michael Massey. That made it a five uh, to to four game, and then Clay Holmes come in a uh, couple a couple good defensive plays. I got to give the Yankees credit. Tonight was a great night on the defensive side. You had in the third inning, you had a, a great sliding grab by McKinney. You had a diving catch by Peraza in the fourth inning. You had another leaving catch by McKinney in the seventh to rob Drew Waters of an extra base hit. Uh, you also had the Royals make a couple of big plays in this game, and then in the ninth inning we saw two great defensive plays that gave the Yankees the win. One of uh, the Garcia line out to uh, to second there with with not, one out and it was already runner on, but we saw Peraza make the catch there to preserve the lead there and then we saw another big play, uh, Waters out at third, nice job by uh, by Volpe there making the play, Yankees tag out the runner at third uh, and the Yankees win this one five four, great day for Billy McK- Billy McKinney probably the highlight of the day again his three home runs and his great defensive plays, I'm just happy we got a win I. I, I what this means long term, probably nothing, but I'm just so happy that it's like, all right, we're, we're off the Schneid, we're eight and a half back, we're now a half game with Boston. Forget, forget the division, which is already. I, I got to stop focusing on the division. I got to focus on the wild card because that's that's what's gonna matter here. Yankees are three and a half out of that. Um, let's let's just keep trying. Let's keep trying, folks. Let's keep going for it here. I mean, let's hope and pray that Judge can get back. Even though I think even if he does come back, he's not gonna be hundred percent. But any percent of judge is better than zero percent. So it's just this is a, a huge series for us. Just just get the bare minimum. Win two out of three. Do not lose tomorrow, and do not make us have another you know a rubber match on Sunday. Just win tomorrow. Let's get back into a groove. Go on. We we need we, we there's no reason we should lose any games to the Kansas City Royals. Let's do it. Let's win tomorrow, and then let's win Sunday, and then let's get back in the right groove here. And we got our ace on the mound tomorrow. Let's see what Cole can do. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give news to the next to see. Make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow. Game two of the series between the Yankees and the Royals. They better win. Take care and God bless.